last time on Command Droids. Tabular Firmus has a strange dream, and Brex Gamma makes a deal. A Festion Vortex and Aurelia Volcanus get a step closer to their hospital, and Linus Gyro loses a friend. But the most pressing question is, who was it inside of Fixer? Find out on today's episode of Command Droids. There is a ribbon of multicolored light streaming to and from the highest point of the Grand Dizer Tower, Warmax One, in Dibolt City, just outside the window of the primary arbiter precinct, uh, where Tabalar Firmus uh, is seated with Vector Ferox. Firox walks into the room carrying two proto-voltage batteries, puts one down in front of you, uh, and sits looking out the window. I open it up and take a swig. You know, my brother's up there. Your brother? Yeah, representing the clan in some sort of a uh, endeavor to build another... Uh, Flight school or something, I don't think it's really necessary, but makes him happy. Okay. Well, that sounds... Uh, I'm I, I, leveling I, with you, Farmus. Yes, I, I realize. I'm showing you that I'm just another bot, just like you. I have a normal life. I, 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 under, I understand, and I, I appreciate that. Um, and, uh, because you have been, uh, so gracious to give us this opportunity and because I've been reevaluating, uh, everything, I figured I should tell you something. What do you want me to know? For... Quite some time, and maybe you'll understand, and maybe you won't. For quite some time, I've uh, been receiving messages, signals, interference, whatever you might call it. Um, and so I've First, I, I wasn't sure what to do with it. First, it, it, it was it was new, and I, I felt strange, and I, it started impacting my life, and uh, I was no longer able to do the things I did uh, with any sort of efficiency, or it, it, it just disrupted things. Mm. And, and and so I, I decided to tell you that these this new new thing on the streets is Pentasignal. Pentasignal. And you're picking up the transmission for the market. Rictus. Sarax, the others. Yes. It's been me. I see. You think you're the only one, Hermes? I, I, I thought I. Am I? Am I not? Have you? Do you know of? Well, others? you're the one that's alive right now, but that won't last very long. We found the corpses of the others. Have you ever considered that a signal has two ends, like a string? Stretch it out. It goes somewhere. It also starts somewhere. Something is sending us a message. Something is sending you a messenger. Hmm. 
You want to help us? You really want to help us? I think I do. Find the source. Who is sending this to you and why? Ever since the Penta Signal has arrived in this city, on this planet, it has brought nothing but death and destruction. Mm. Nebularos just responded to another call from your little friend. And I'm willing to guess that if the call's been made, the receiver's already dead. We're not like the others. We're not, we're not temporary. Life and death is a bigger deal to us because it only ends when we decide it ends. And to rob somebody of that is a profound crime, wouldn't you say? I, I would say that now, yes. I would, I would agree. You have to understand, I didn't know what, to, what else to do with it. How was I supposed to survive? What happens, happens. I'm concerned with shutting it down or finding a way to utilize it for the betterment of us as a species. Okay. Tonight we get Rictus. Tomorrow the source. Are you in? I think I have to be. So yes, I'm in. He puts his hand across the table for you to shake. Kind of looks at it for a second and slowly just grabs it and shakes. Doesn't make eye contact, kind of looking at the hand shaking. We are going to contain this thing together. Welcome, Tabular Firmus, to the capacitors. Thank you for your understanding. I try my best. You look at Sharp. That's a new paint job. Yeah, I haven't been able to pull this one, uh, use this one for quite some time. It feels good. Looks good. Nebularos and I are going to be in a hover dine outside. As you know, if things get hairy, hit the button. Yes. Remember, Rictus probably will be uh, using a uh, an, uh, a disguise, if not an entire new downloaded body. So might be a little tricky finding him, but I trust you have the ability. And if he sees you and you are the supplier, he'll come to you first. We'll, we'll get him tonight. Excellent. Thank you again. Thank you. You know, he starts walking you out. I feel like you might be a good adjudicator. You ever consider joining the force? Maybe years and years and years ago, but it's faint memory now. Why? Is there an Just opening? Putting it out there. We'll see how tonight goes. We'll see how tonight goes. All right.
Welcome to the House Aquile Mid-Cycle Charity Auction. Anyone who's anyone is at the Q Den Crystal Promenade of the High Grandizer Tower here in Diebold City. I'm Betamax Harris here at the annual charity auction getting a who's who of the Steel Blue here at Warmax 1 from the highest echelons of Quasar and Society rub shoulders with the Galactic Elite. Over there is Whisper Wave, the sentient Anthean song giving a rendition of her bars for some passersby, and the Megirian Empress Swan Maru pauses for a hollow with some members of the Ministry of Ascendancy, including our own Senator Omega Polaris and Senator Bar Caliban. The prize of the auction is this, the Chevron-class Colombian scout frigate, the Arigato, valued at over 170,000 charge chips. This beauty will be going home with some lucky traveler. Back to you at the studio, Lumen. You are <clears throat> all in the crystal promenade, uh, overlooking the immense spider web of glistening gold and red and blue and yellow lights stretching all the way to the horizon in every direction. Uh, it's, it's almost like looking into a kaleidoscope, just the, the depth of the, uh, the, the field of, of uh, height that you're looking out at from the top of this tower. Uh, the structures around you are all made of uh, chrome and clear crystal. Uh, <clears throat> the protovoltage is flowing like wine. Uh, music is playing. Um, there are even some organics here uh, from off world. It is uh, it is a high high class event. Um, <clears throat> How big are these organics? Like, are they like? Uh, middle, there's different kinds. Uh, there's, no. uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. There's more than one kind of alien, Anna. <laughs> right. Uh, is Q here? Uh, Q? yes. The, most of them come up to either your knees or your 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 hips. They're they're relatively large by human standards. Uh, the Midkirians are certainly massive. They they tend to be about eight or nine feet tall. Um. And the Vorpal aliens can get up to about 13 feet tall, but they're only about like 150 pounds. So they're super thin, like walking sticks. The Kyrians, however, are all bulk um, and on average as strong as if not stronger than a command droid. Um, as you guys learned during the Midkirian Wars almost a million years ago. <clears throat> the Amphans are these sort of beautiful creatures of pure light and sound uh, and therefore even uh, uh, less organic than you. Um, and there are other stranger aliens that are moving through and, and around the crowd, but primarily you're looking at uh, a lot of the highest echelons of Commandroid society, the generals of the combat mechs, uh, the, the wealthiest of the Terramex and Automex, uh, the most uh, esteemed of the Technomex, and of course, the highest nobility of the Aeromecha, who seem to be kind of at their own party and moving back and forth among themselves, uh, engaging in their weird games of manipulation and skullduggery, uh, as they tend to do. Nobody is more confused or annoyed by this than Hephaestion Vortex, because he is one of them. Which is why, when you are sitting there just trying to enjoy your drink, uh, and a member of uh, Clan Vespulon walks towards you uh, with a long cape trailing off of her, her wingspan, uh, she looks you up and down and says uh, something in old Quasarin that you can sort of interpret to be... Uh, what clan are you with? You turn out there. Uh, I'm the uh, I'm Vortex. I think we're kind of putting on this thing. She sniffs. <clears throat> you don't resemble a Vortex. What are you trying to say? I, I am simply saying this is an interesting choice of paint colors. That Thank you. you. I'm very proud of it, too. You call me a liar. Can I go in? 
Yes, of course. I, I'll leave you be. She walks back over towards another group of, uh, of Arabex who all look at you and giggle amongst themselves and move back towards the dance floor. Um, inside is, uh, a, the usual, you know, this bustle of, of people. Um, and you can see there's a, there's a, uh, a hovering, uh, holographic dance floor in the center of the room, um, next to a stage, uh, and hanging over all of it is, uh, the Arigato, the, the ship. Um, it's big enough that, uh, it could probably house maybe, uh, a dozen command droids comfortably. Um, and it could uncomfortably carry several more. Um, it is a massive ship, uh, to human eyes. It would be the size of like the downtown area of like a medium sized town, uh, <clears throat> to command rights, It's still pretty big, but you know, it's not like a massive warship. It's just kind of like a frigate, um, uh, you know, comfortable, but not massive. Uh, but still ships are rare and very, very expensive. And this one looks pretty nice. Um, as, uh, you guys are looking up at it, uh, a rather bulky techno mech, uh, walks over towards Lennis. Uh, she has her arms stretched out, and she is uh, smiling uh, and tilts her head to one side. She has this uh, <clears throat> sort of um, strange uh, educational uh, educational class crest on her head. Uh, and she says, Lennis, do you remember me? Do I? <laughs> uh, kind of. She kind of looks familiar to you. I'm so sorry, my dear. I have been ever so busy with the Mecha uh, Kaiju attack. You, you my my circuits have been fried. Mecha and she just grabs you and hugs you. And like oh, pats okay. your head against her giant metal boobs. Oh, All sweetie. Right. I was so, so sad. I I'm heard married. everything that happened and you've been working so hard. It's me, Professor Bellwether. Bellwether! How are you doing? Well, it's been um, so long, hasn't it? I, as I, I say as I gently and gingerly pry myself from her grass. Uh, she was <laughs> one of the uh, she was one of the um, the teachers uh, that you had at the academy. Um, in fact, most of you have been in Professor Bellwether's class, uh, but you can see that now that she's wearing the uh, the headmaster's crest, she's probably uh, she's ascended to to running the academy. Um, she's followed by a couple of other uh, um, technicians, um, uh, including uh, one uh, small. Uh, <clears throat> very studious looking auto mech who sniffs at you. Metacron. Yes, how are you doing? I'm My name well. is Lennis Gyro. I apologize. Professor Bellwether, I don't believe we have to. Hush, Symmetrica. I always have time for my old students. She puts an arm around you. I saw that you were on the news after that Tetrazeric attack. Is there anything you need from the Academy? Oh, no. No, Miss Bellwether. I'm simply doing my job. Mm. I appreciate it, though. Thank you very much. If anything, I would recommend to everybody to just find it in themselves to donate just a little bit to the relief. It's, it's, it's been a lot of work and we are, and I'm like, I look like a bit crestfallen. It's all like we are understaffed, unfortunately, but we're working hard. I and heard that one of one. the Aeromex is interested in 
building a hospital, a second hospital, specifically Are for they? the relief art as efforts, right? Not another flight school, an actual hospital, something that would help something other than them. What what a wonderful soul. That sounds wonderful. Do you know who it is? She looks down at the uh the angry um and and sullen uh automech uh axiom symmetrica who goes over her data pad and looks up <clears throat> Hephaestion vortex uh professor i like freeze i like no actually no i like blink at that and go oh and i think about it for a second and i'm like no no, I can see that. That's good for him. Uh, Is he here? <laughs> yeah, you're looking across and you see that he's getting uh, laughed at by a group of other uh, Aeromex who look much richer and more uh, uh, more carefully tended to. I like cringe inwardly at that, but don't go to save him because it's not really my place to do so. Am I hearing them laugh at me? Like, is this clear? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm going to like walk away, stop, slowly turn. Like, are they just actively laughing or are they doing the weird, like, shh, 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 yeah, they're yeah. doing the like, shh, they're the, you know, that the sort of courtly, foppish, like, <laughs> yeah, of noble women. <laughs> I'm just going to like walk up to them, like, really, like, <laughs> obnoxiously <laughs> close and just like, mm. <laughs> And then, like, walk back to my beautiful darling wife. <laughs> you know, they all uh, back off because <laughs> you're big and heavy and scary. So they say, they, "Oh, uh, he's so rough." They scamper off. Damn right. I don't. I, I forgot why I hated these things so much, but. Uh, and hopefully, by <laughs> reminding you, we don't have to do it again for a very long time. Yeah. No. Not. <laughs> This is our last one for like at least a thousand years. At Until least. They need another hospital if they want to make us dance like little train circus scooters for. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Bellwether leans over towards uh, uh, Lennis. Yes. Do you know Mr. Vortex? Could you point him out to me? <laughs> <laughs> He's the bot over there. Uh, yeah, I don't want to point. Uh, yellow paint. He's with the bulldozer. The one dipping his finger in proto voltage. <laughs> the one dipping his finger in the proto voltage punch and double dipping. <laughs> oh, I like him. He looks sturdy. Come with me. She starts. It, uh, walking you no, over. no, 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 no. Bellwether, Bellwether, Bellwether. No, I like. I like get in front of her. I'm like bellwether. It would yes. be in everyone's best interest if I didn't go speak speak to him. He is a wonderful person, and I am very glad that he is going to be building another hospital. But you do not want me talking to him. Why not? You're a good person. I like look around and I look at her. How how how? Okay, is this like the sweet old lady that uh, keeps yes. a secret? Like uh, like my mother who. We, what do we say? It's a saying in Spanish that translates roughly to uh, I'll, I'll take my secret with me to the grave and I'll have a cell phone. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> like a, like like, a, like an open tomb. Like, does she keep her secrets or because I don't want to make a scene? <laughs> um, Is she like one of those old ladies? Like, oh, don't worry. Sweet old lady that's yeah, she, she doesn't really believe in secrets. <laughs> She's I'm picturing her looking like the robot <laughs> version of the little the lamb uh, sheep lady from uh, Zootopia. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that fits. I'm like very strained, like in a hard spot. And I like I like motion her to like lean in. She leans way over. It's a personal issue that I have had with him in the past. It's it it it, it, oh, it, it a personal been... thing. Well, then, by all means, darling. Why didn't you just say so? It's fine. I'll leave you to it. I appreciate you having pointed about Mister Vortex. Mister Vortex. <laughs> she starts dobbering over. Uh, I think she's on like little wheels. I don't think she actually. No. 
Dwight, I mean, if I hear this, I'm like, oh no, she's like a super computer, like one of those big ENIAC things. Princess, save me, save me, princess, princess. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna shove a proto voltage into your mouth, like hop, slump. <laughs> <laughs> I look at you like the food's good, like least <laughs> <laughs> one that. upside. Uh, and I'm just gonna be like, keep, keep, oh, keep, are you two arc bombed? That's adorable. <laughs> Do I do I know her? Because I went to that school. Yeah, she, she was in the school. She was more towards the sciences, but like you took engineering classes and that involved physics, which she did teach. Oh my god, Professor! It has been Jordan. so long. So, Princess, come here. She gives you a big clanky hug. Uh, professor, this is my uh, arc partner, Hephaestion. Uh, he's kind of busy stuffing his mouth so you know well earned Festion. i am very glad to hear what you've been working on uh, thank you <laughs> I just try to keep his face stuffed. yeah that's that was the, <laughs> the plan just just shove like 15 proto voltages into your mouth so that you can't talk around them <laughs> <laughs> and you're part of Clan Vortex's uh, uh, plan to uh, endeavor to build a hospital for the refugees of the recent Daikaiju attacks, yes? That's that's the plan. Well, I have one question. Ow. <laughs> What can the Educational Academy of Quizaros do to help you in this endeavor? Donations. Donations. <laughs> All right. I believe we have some funding in the budget. In fact, I think I have an idea. I lean over. Why am I worried about her idea? <laughs> I kind of like give you like a little elbow to the side, like a gentle one, but and, like roll my eyes, but I kind of like slightly nod. <laughs> like maybe we should be. Uh, what's the idea, Professor? Well, the power downs have been devastated by these attacks. Most of my best students came from that region. But my best students come from all over, don't they? <laughs> Point is, I think that the best thing we can do for this planet and for this city is to build another hospital. And I'd like to put my efforts towards this. And to that end, I think I will be placing a bit on this starship. How, how does that help with the hospital? I think it's a fundraiser thing. Oh, wait, are we ra are your, is your family raising funds for the hospital? I'm so confused. I didn't even know it was a done deal yet, but, you know, hopefully. <laughs> okay. It's a charity fundraiser, darling. Oh, my God. This is going to smile and nod like I know what's going, going on. going to be selected by the oh. High uh, Aramec Council. Um, I'm a simple technomech. I turn into a supercomputer, so I only make the best possible decisions. Who's going to listen to me? <laughs> anyway, the point is, I think I would like to help you build this hospital. To that end, I would like to utilize some of the Academy's finances to nudge the nobility in the right direction. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, that I would be wonderful. Does. Well, Anyway, it's been a delight seeing you, and I am so proud of you both, and I think you are just wonderful together. Thank you. You're very special, too. Thanks, Professor. It was so good running into you again. She smiles at you and gives you both a big hug and then goes wheeling off uh, after one of the uh, uh, one of the <clears throat> uh, waiter bots with the hors d'oeuvres. I'm still very confused as to how that's going to nudge them towards the hospital, but I'm not very good at politics. So They told me to wear this ridiculous thing and be here. So I'm wearing this ridiculous thing and I am being here. She's going to like flick your propeller a little bit. <laughs> exactly. You hear a familiar voice from behind you. <clears throat> you made it. I am so glad to see you. It's your cousin. Oh, right. Uh, hey, yeah. he looks like a million bucks because 
He is. He's very wealthy. Okay. Yeah, offer him a handshake or some. Uh, uh, offer him a hug. He gives you a warm hug. Hephaestion, Aurelia, you are looking wonderful. How are things with the pledge oh arc? How are Tark and Octavia? They're great. Um, they want to have a baby. Hmm. So, um, that's exciting. I know. You it's wish super to exciting. appeal to the Mecha Shoguns for the source code? Yes. Ah, that's how they drag you out here. He taps on Hephaestion's chest. I know you hate these things, but you are correct. But, you know, got to do what you got to do sometimes, right? Right. Well, I will go before the council and appeal to the council that this is the best course of action. We need a hospital more than we need a flight academy for Definitely. members of Clan Ferox and Clan Vespulon to parade themselves uh, in front of each other in an attempt to outdo each other in spending proto-voltage chips. This is something good. This is something that can help Diebolt City. I'm excited to be a part of this plan. Tell them they'll, uh, they'll get the love of the people and they'll get cheated on the streets if they build a hospital. You know, it doesn't happen when they build another flight school. Hmm. <laughs> Yes, I, I think that uh, there is something to be said about uh, the love of one's constituents. Even if the nobility is no longer truly the ruling class, the people go where the money goes, do they not? No, exactly. Sometimes you got to spend money to make money and other such idioms. <laughs> this, he puts a hand on your shoulder. This is not your element, cousin. Not at all. <laughs> Aurelia is like looking at uh, Hephaestion with like heart eyes. <laughs> but I am here as promised. I appreciate everything you've done. And I cannot thank you enough for what you're doing for this. Well, I'm glad that showing up and eating is uh, helping out a lot. Grabs a couple more little snacks. Well, of course, it's not just eating. I am going to need you to speak with Scorpius Typhon and <clears throat> tell him your plan for the hospital like a building plan for the hospital like yes of course. To, okay i can talk about that like funding and uh, no but building it sure cousin leave the funding to me <laughs> done emprex <clears throat> Uh, you and Tabalar have been enjoying the fine food and drink. Um, and <clears throat> the two of you are just sort of staying by the table when a group of incredibly attractive, uh, Aramex walk past. Uh, they seem to be avoiding this one helicopter that you saw yelling at them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they they, they should have word. past. Uh, <laughs> the last one stops and looks over at Emprex and just every so like small like gives like a little wave like hello. And he's uh, he 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 looks back uh, very unimpressed. He doesn't show unimpressed. He his reaction doesn't change at all. He just stares at her because this isn't his scene either. <laughs> She breaks off from the rest of the group and walks over. Are you with the Arbiters? She says. I'm uh, a private concern. Private concern. Oh, security. Something like that. Mm. I find these things so boring, don't you? Boring isn't quite the word that I'd use for it. Well, what is the word you'd use for it? Decadent. Yeah, decadent. Disgusting. Hmm. You know, you uh, don't want to get in trouble with your friends. You know, 
one of you Aramix talking to a uh, groundling like me. Maybe I like to live dangerously. Uh, I think uh, the life I live might be a, too, a little too dangerous for you. Maybe. Maybe. She turns around and then in one smooth motion, like snaps a blade out of her forearm, like right, right near your shoulder. But uh, call me if you want to spar sometime. She snaps the blade back in and starts walking back towards her friends. <laughs> like a bunch of steam comes out of the back of his. Uh... <laughs> wow. Uh, to, what does she look like? Uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for this one. <laughs> super hot. Like she's a uh, uh, thin, uh, 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 very aerodynamic. Uh, you're guessing uh, probably some sort of like needle nose jet fighter type. Uh, you're guessing forward swept wings by the look of it. Um, and you, you might, those, those might be blades along the floor, the leading edge of the wings. She looks built for speed. Mm. But now that you're looking at it, you can see like all of the, uh, all of the, the bits there. Uh, give me, um, your, uh, battle Tron, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, passive battle. Tron. Correct. I got a 16. Um, you can just tell by like the, 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 um, <clears throat> the coursing on her, her joints and like just the way that like her, her paint job is and the way that she moves, she is trained in metallic uh, and uh, she, she is fast and good with a blade. Mm. She isn't coming on to you just because you're here. She's coming on to you because she's pretty sure you're the only one that would be able to put up a decent fight. Hmm. Um, which is as she's walking away, I uh, call out, what's your name? Superbia. Acro Superbia. Who are you? I'm Emprex Gamma. Well, maybe I'll find you afterwards, Emprex Gamma, and we can see who would win. And if I... You hear me choking There's on one my thing I hate it. <laughs> There's one thing I hate it's keeping a good looking woman waiting. So maybe if I get my work done. You won't have to wait till the party's over. <laughs> and he kind of walks off to where he saw the uh, helicopter walk away to that he saw earlier. Uh, and he's also like, nailed it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you walking over there as well? Uh, yeah, I want to see how this goes now. Okay, both of you give me perception checks. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, eight. I'm kind of riding high after that line, so I'm not going to be a distracted. <laughs> I got a one. Eleven? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're walking over and you see that there is this decadent, wealthy looking Aramek uh, hanging near the helicopter near Hevestion. Um, and even though like, you know, he looks like he's like just dripping in jewels and money, you can recognize just the plating and, you know, those wings are tacked on. That's Nick Zrictus. <laughs> okay. So once I have him pegged, I kind of look for my, the, the button, the signal, and I, uh, I give it a click. I stop him. I stop him. Can I? Roll to stop tabular yeah, before you press. Absolutely. That. I'm gonna roll. Uh, uh, I would say, um, Emprex, uh, uh, active bounty hunter, uh, and um, tabular, uh, uh, passive career or active career, and then whoever gets higher. Active. Mm. You got a four. I got a, I got a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> you grab the hand with the button before he can touch to the before he can call for the uh, for backup. Hold your horses. 
I, you I doing? think I recognize. I think I recognize who he's talking with. Okay, I don't want these guys. If, it, if that's who I think it is, I don't want those officers outside taking that guy away with Nix. Okay, just let me go over and talk to him first. Who is that? I think it might be my brother. Tabular Firmus is played by Joey Pedras. You can find him on Twitter at Joey Pedras. Emperex Gamma is played by Robert Clark. Aurelia Volcanis is played by Casey Edison. You can find them on Twitter at Child of Ginevra. Lennis Gyro is played by Anna James. Hephaestion Vortex is played by Josh Jaffe. You can find him on Twitter at Nuishua. This game GM'd by Sean Jaffe. You can find him on Twitter at Reverend Mother. Featuring Thomas Fleming as the narrator. You can find him on Twitter at DorksideVO. Additional voices by Megan Jaffe and Thurs. You can find them on Twitter respectively as at City Nerdy and at Thurs underscore games. You can pre-order Commandroids at www.nerdycity.com. Keep up with the podcast on Twitter at Rememorex.